What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MDG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So today I'm here in my Honda Civic and I wanna show you guys the tech accessories that I use on a daily in my car. So without further delay, let's dive right in. All right, so the first thing is obviously my car. It's a 2012 Honda Civic Coupe. I believe this is the EX trim. And I first got to start off with the, a drink that I usually have with me on the daily. And today I got two. Right here is the Prime Ice Pop Hydration Drink. Definitely try it out. They'll probably have it at your local vitamin shop. It's really good. Then I have one of my old time favorites right here. The Ghost Red Berry Sour Patch Kids Energy Drink. This is really good. They also have a Bubblelicious one. That one is super good too, but I believe that one is limited. Uh, so check out your local vitamin shop or GNC uh, until you know they run out, but definitely recommend these. Uh, this is probably one of my favorites. Actually, my, my first or second after the Bubblelicious. So definitely check this out, Red Berry right here. But let's get to the actual tech. So let's first start off with what is in my center console right here. So this is the Soundcore frames. And as you can tell, Soundcore frames, these are smart glasses. So whenever I'm, you know, just listening to a podcast and I just don't want to have it too loud and I, you know, I can't see because of the sun, I'll put these guys on and I'll be listening to my podcast or whatever I got, you know, running on my phone. So these really do come in clutch and I can change the frames of them. They, I can change them to a normal, you know, glasses that I can use when I'm reading something before I go to bed. So there is that. These have come in super clutch. I do have normal sunglasses, you know, just in case. Uh, I do have to charge these maybe like once every three weeks. Uh, so the battery life has been great. Next up right here. You're gonna be like, why do you have a portable Bluetooth speaker? Well, this is from Anchor. Anchor makes some really good uh, Bluetooth speakers. And the reason why I have this is because my car's Bluetooth isn't the greatest. Uh, so most of the times when I'm watching like a video podcast, uh, the audio will lag behind the actual video and it just started to irritate me. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get a Bluetooth speaker that I can take with me on the go if I'm you know, going camping or just you know, going somewhere, I can take this with me on the go, but also leave it in my car that I can use when I'm driving. And there's no lag in audio, which is actually connected to my iPad mini, which brings me to my third tech accessory. Yes, I use my iPad mini in my car as an accessory. This is actually my favorite purchase of 2021 and I absolutely love it. It's probably the best thing I've ever bought in, uh, in like the past like five, six years that I can recall. Uh, it's coming super clutch. I create all of my wallpapers, the one that you see on my iPad mini right now. I'll be leaving links in the description down below of my wallpaper packs. I make my wallpapers, I watch YouTube videos, I write my articles on Medium on the iPad mini, but most importantly, I do watch a lot of YouTube videos uh, especially when I'm parked and I'm, you know, just having like a you know, snack in the car or some lunch or whatever. And I'll just open up one of my favorite YouTubers right here. I'll open up their video and I'm all set to go. Um, when I'm driving, I typically turn off video and just you know, try to open something from YouTube music or from the Apple Podcasts app uh, so I don't get too distracted. But this has been a great infotainment system. I can use it for Google Maps. It is currently uh, connected to my iPhone 13 Pro Max and using Hotspot from there. I haven't had any issues uh, with you know with the GPS and whatnot. It's you know taking me to the correct destination whenever I needed it to. But it replaces the infotainment system that you kind of see from right behind here. And if I do take the iPad mini off, I can also take it when you know when I'm stopped and just you know read something or browse the web or whatever. And then when I need to put it back on, just put it right back on here, which is my iPad stand that actually works as an iPhone stand too. So this is the Satechi and I'll leave you leaving the link in the description down below. Uh, this is the Satechi stand for tablets, but you can technically use it for your iPhone, but it has to be in vertical format. So I just have to push that down just a little bit. 
There we go, pop it in. And there it is, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I don't really use it like this too often. And peep that drip wallpaper pack. Again, link in the description down below. So let's take that out. Uh, and let's move over to the ESR Halo Lock Creo Boost car charger, wireless car charger that's built in with MagSafe. I absolutely love this. I had the previous generation. This is the new one. I absolutely love it. Why? Because I'm actually going to show you. I actually first have to start up the vehicle. So let's turn the vehicle on right here. There we go. So as you can tell, right here is actually a fan and it slightly lights up and looks much better in the dark but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take my iphone 13 pro and this is the esr uh, halo lock clear case so MagSafe compatible and just stick it right on there there you go and you can kind of hear the fan kicking in the background just like that so there is the halo lock uh, MagSafe Creo Boost wireless car charger and I really do like that it has a fan because sometimes when I'm using GPS or, or if I'm watching a video on my iPhone whatever it may be sometimes it may get a little bit uh, warm to the touch so having a fan in the back keeps the phone uh, the device itself really cool now sometimes if I don't want to charge my iPhone and I want to charge my MagSafe compatible Android device uh, which is the Samsung Galaxy S22 with the Pataka Fusion Weave case. Then I just throw it on there too. And it's charging the MagSafe compatible wireless charger. The fan kicks on too. And you're all set to go. And this does charge, not fast, but you know, it gets the job done uh, when you're you know driving on long trips. I don't think you need fast charging on long trips in the end. Because I mean, if your destination is like three, four hours away, well, you have three, four hours for you to charge that device. But nonetheless, if you have an Android MagSafe compatible, this will work as well. And then obviously, I bring with me my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I do bring with me my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And then I do bring with me my ESR uh, MagSafe wallet stand, which comes in super clutch. And that's really the tech that I use in my car. Uh, if you're asking about the car charger right here, this is the OnePlus car charger. I just connected it through USB-C for um, my MagSafe Creo Boost ESR Halo Lock wireless car charger. But that's really it. Uh, hopefully, you know, in the coming months and uh, in future videos, I am able to upgrade the tech in my car. Uh, I do have a couple other, you know, accessories that aren't really tech related, like this comes in clutch like just having a mini garbage uh disposal right here just comes in clutch i get to throw like all my garbage right in there and then throw that out in the trash and also always you know stay hydrated get some sort of drink whether it be this prime hydration drink or some water uh but that's really been it there's that uh, if you guys did enjoy be sure to superman that like button comment down below and best of all share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people that's been it for me and i'll catch you guys in the next episode